Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee. I hope you can understand me because I have um, a head cold from all the sinuses, but I'm going to make a tutorial and I'm going to cough through it, so I apologize. Anyway, so I'm going to make a tutorial on this 6 by 6 by 3 um, lace holder uh, book album. Let me show it to you. I uh, project shared it yesterday and I changed up some of the designs. I know Janet was scrapping happy. Um, I was told <clears throat> that had a tutorial. I only saw her project share. I never saw her tutorial and I, I don't know. I didn't never see it. So anyway, but uh, but that was like six years ago. And so this is what I'm making and I was going to show it to you. Anyway, so um isn't it cute? It was all because I saw these stick pins and said, okay, what can I do? And it turned into this book. So this is so cute. I love it. It comes together pretty fast. And look, I made the, um, the thickness uh, three-fourths of an inch so that it can fit and hold. This right here is over... 30 yards of lace so it can hold quite a bit so let's get started see it's me it's me <laughs> I rewrote um, everything so it's nice and neat for you uh, other than what I showed you yesterday because I had scratched out and when I make notes and everything um, here is it it see how yesterday's it was scratched out this number was wrong and so I just try to do the best I can for you so take a screenshot of this and you will always have it and it's everything you need <clears throat> okay let's get started so here is the chipboards and here's how I prep them and and the paper so six by six six by six and three by six you get two of the eight and a half by eleven and I already have a lot prepped so I'm going to show you the basics of this and then not do the whole thing it is just like making an album <clears throat> I can put those links down below and how to make a hinge but I'm going to show you most of it here so I'm going to use um, tape right here to get the wrapping started but don't worry we're not going to do it all we're not going to take a lot of time <clears throat> always with your bone folder burnish 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 with a B I think to get that air out um, the more time you take on doing the right steps your projects will last so long this trick right here Kim taught me um, Kim she is <clears throat> used to be fatty patty scrapper and now she changed her name <laughs> probably two years ago to um, salty beach scrapper I think but she taught me to use your scoreboard put the tape where it begins at the six and put it up against this so it squares and then put this paper right on the six too and you get a straight nice line and it's all perfectly so it's only a quarter of an inch tape <clears throat> there you go so I've been doing that for years and I love it if I forget to tell you use this on everything every time okay so another hint I do and I'm not going to go a lot further with this is I do one inch because we have two and a quarter inches left over I do one inch if you hear me I have a cough drop in my mouth so and I draw a line because first I take all this tape off <clears throat> and I'll do this first one for you take all the tape off 
and I usually use quarter of an inch instead of one eighth of an inch tape, but I'm running so low on it. I can't wait until April when they have the big expo in Dallas so I can buy tape. But I always do because Kimmy told me and it works perfect. She's the first person I ever watched make um, albums. Um, I do use tape and glue on this part because it's it's the basis and you don't want bubbles, you don't want air pockets, uh, you want it to last. So go ahead and take the extra steps and this fine tip, um, Art Glitter Dries Clear Glue is the bomb.com. Okay, so all I do is <clears throat> the seam goes right in the middle of that spine and this goes right on that line and guys because we're using black chipboard or we're using a pen or just stuff when you're using white paper you need to have a wipey because it's gonna stuff's gonna get dirty your fingers are gonna get dirty you're gonna touch glue and you don't want your white paper getting dirty so you do this <clears throat> you do the same put the glue you get your spacer, and my spacer is two pieces of medium chipboard glued together, and that's my spacer. And you line that up, and you put it there. And you glue it down, and that line helps you. Then you get this side, <clears throat> glue, tape, and you line it up, and you put it there, and you glue it down. Now, this is 80 pound cardstock. It's heavy, so it takes a minute to fold it over. So just fold it over gently. Even if it takes you 30 to 60 seconds each side, it's better that you do it gently. The faster you get a crack and a rip. Okay, so let's put this off to the side. And I have one right here and down the middle and I pushed and burnished everything real hard <clears throat> and I have it folded up real nice and I have tape here and then tape here and tapes all the way here and tape here I took the same thing put it here drew a line drew a line and I stayed one eighth of an inch off of that corner. Okay. <coughs> so let's wrap this side. So let's take the tape off. I was going to go to live and um, I use a satellite dish. It's not HughesNet, but it's like HughesNet to have Wi Fi and it just wouldn't go or. I haven't done it in two years and um, I called a friend of mine Sierra because I knew she had went live and uh, she said I have to download something called StreamYard so maybe I just am not prepared for that so I burnished all this tape down early let's take all the tape off <coughs> This is one eighth inch tape, and I really do like a quarter inch, but I'm going to use glue too, so that's okay. <coughs> I really apologize for my coughing. I know that's going to irritate somebody. Got a thumbs down because apparently I said I watched a project share and didn't watch the YouTube and got in trouble for not being my idea well it's not my idea but this is my measurements and my way of doing it so we just got company here so I'm gonna try to be as fast as I can okay so let's put a little bit of glue in those corners because the tape isn't there let's put glue right around that edge that edge that edge Put a little glue in that little corner and glue in here. Not a lot, just enough 
And if you don't do glue, you have a good chance of having air pockets and bubbles. Uh-oh. I know a little boy that's going for a ride. I hear the motor starting. <clears throat> okay, so we've already folded it real nice and put it down. Okay. And this is when you have to put all the air pockets out and use your foam folder. Okay. And then I fold that in. Let me show you. <laughs> Shoot. I'm making a video. Darn you. You're, I'm glad I didn't cuss. I'd have to start over. Go away. Standing at the window trying to scare me. <sighs> Let me take a breath. Okay, so this is how you just come out and you pinch it down. You see that? You just pinch it straight down and let it just go in there. If for some reason you don't get your corner proper, then take your paper that you cut away and stick it right there, the best side. So you stick it right there and then you fold it over and then they would never see uh, the mistake of cutting it too close. Okay, so let's turn this side around. Oh my god, my chest is hurting already from this um, head cold and coughing so much. The sinuses and everything is just going crazy. Um, they say that we get the Oklahoma winds here in Texas, and I'm not used to being in Texas. I should be. I've been here so long now. Um, but we get, they say the winds come from Canada and that we're getting all kind of new stuff for spring coming. <clears throat> so I've already folded it over and primed it and got it ready for me to fold it over because it's usually not that easy to flip over. Okay. And then let's do these corners. I've already prepped so much, so you're thinking I'm taking too long on this. I've already prepped so much. See? <coughs> oh, I probably shouldn't even be making a video with this cold. I don't know if it's a cold, because I don't have a fever or aches. I just, um, my chest hurts from coughing so much today, but that just started. But, um... It's just sinuses. Everybody I know has it. Okay. Got glues on my finger, and that's when you start messing up your paper and getting stuff dirty. Oh, uh, what was that? That needs to go inside, because I don't know what that lip was right there. I must have cut it at a wrong angle. But there you go, see? I don't mind making mistakes and showing you, because... Then I'll show you how I would fix them. Okay. I hear my laundry. The laundry's out here in the garage. And I have my craft room in the garage. We're going to start building my studio after my son's wedding and all that because we're like, no, we better save money for all that. <clears throat> so that won't probably start until August. Okay, so I see tape that went off the edge, so I'm having to pull it off because I don't want tape here and it will snag. And uh, we have wipes keep everything clean. <clears throat> I don't want the tape snagging and making the project grab lint and dirt. But decorative paper I don't usually work with this, but I have to use it for y'all not to get that glare of the light. Okay. There we go. So, 
and this goes slow where it needs to fold in. The slower you go, the better. If you go too fast, it's going to crack, it's going to rip, it's going to have a hole. You're not going to be happy. So there you go. Okay, now we're going to make this. I've already made it, but I'm going to show you. <clears throat> I'm going to show you where we're going to score. My notes say, because I want three-fourths of a hinge high and three-fourths of an inch wide. So our scoring is going to be two, and I learned that from... Oh, who did I learn that from? Oh, I'll think of her name. The two tells me that it goes right in that first score line. And then we're going to start scoring. So let's talk about the scoring and do it. Oh, who was that? Um, oh, oh, I forgot who it was that I learned it from. So our first score line is at two. And the paper size is five and a half by 11. And on the 11 side, five and a half by 11, we score it at two. Two and three fourths. Then another three fourths would be three and a half. Four and one fourth. Five, every one of them is three fourths. Five and three fourths. Six and a half. Seven and a fourth. Eight. Eight and three fourths, and then this is the extra that will be on your <clears throat> inside holding it down. So you're thinking, okay, how does this work? So where the two is, you don't even need to fold this first two because that just tells us to line it up and helps us get everything straight. <coughs> um, in the groove. Okay? And I'm going to think of that person's name. In fact, it's going to bug me until I do. She makes videos. Uh. I can't I can't find it. Well, anyway, so the second one, you're going to have a space between the two and the first score line. You're going to have a space, and then these two go together, and they hinge up. Then you're going to have a finger space of three-fourths, and then these two hinge up. And then you're going to have a space, and then these two hinge up. So if you start at the back end, the back, score, the back score line goes up, and there you go. So I, I think everyone knows how that works, okay? So that's what it looks like. <clears throat> so here it is, already made, and already glued these two X's together. Okay, so let's take the tape off and glue it down. <clears throat> Almost done. Okay, so all the tape is on there. And I like putting tape close to the hinge because the hinge is where it gets most of its um, motion and movement and stress. So let's put glue on here because this hinge needs the tape and the glue or just glue. Um, the tape is kind of there to hold it in place while the glue is 
drying. But put glue all over this, and this fine tip really is nice. And uh, you can see it's not it's not a bunch, but just all over it. <coughs> It's not soaking wet, but it has some on it, and right to the edge. And if it squirts out the edge, that's even better because it says it got the whole edge. Okay, can you see it? There you go. See, it's not tons. So we're just going to eyeball it. Well, actually, we're going to get that two-inch line. Okay. So I'm going to eyeball it, and I see that score line. I'm going to bring my light in a little closer so I can see for a minute. You get that score line to be right there, and it to be, because that tells me it's, it's equal from here and this other score line. I got glue everywhere. But I think that looks good. So I'm starting from this end. I'm not, whole, I'm not letting this go down yet because I don't want it to be uneven. So that, that, I'm putting it all down. There we go. <coughs> because we're using black cardstock, it's getting dirty. But we're going to decorate it. Um. <coughs> We'll be decorating with decorative paper, so let's just make sure my fingers are dry. So make sure that's all down nice. Okay, I think everyone knows how to do an album. This is just like making an album. It's just the only thing different on this whole project is the hinge work to hold the lace. Okay. So I can see that score line. I'm going to follow it right there. This one right here. I'm going to follow it. And I'm going to go slowly, slowly, because it should be dry enough. Make sure. And I'm going to open my book. And see, that one, that one didn't want to come up as easy. So let me help it. Let me. Crease it in there. Easy, slow. There we go. Okay, so we're done. So now we have to put in our lace that, or ribbon that we want to uh, hold. We have to do that now. So and that's that's on this add lace. That's on my notes. <coughs> This is a six inch, so let's go in and make a little tick mark where the three inch is high enough up so that when you put your decorative paper down, um, wait a minute, I use tape. I do tape right here and decorative uh, paper and glue. Okay, I'm on. that up. Let's put a little extra glue right here too. Okay, and just a quarter of an inch in and put your ribbon. And then the same way over here, we're going to cut it in half to a three. I want to put tape and let's do a little glue too to hold it and put it right there. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now what? This is, there we go. Now our next step says add lace, hinge, made the hinge. So we already did the hinge. 
glue the hinge together, add all decorative papers. So now I already pre-cut the decorative papers. Um, you need four at five and three-fourths by five and three-fourths and one at five and three-fourths by two and three-fourths and that is the spine and decorative papers. Now remember on this, because it's not an album, it's all the same paper coordinating, but you can put whatever patterns you want and how you want it, but it all coordinates and looks good together. Um, if I was doing an album, it would be totally different. So let's take two for the inside and two for the outside. <coughs> this is graphic 45 and I'm not putting a white piece of paper here because see I had so much extra that you know it's only this difference and I think it's a waste if I put more paper white paper here and then the decorative. So let's glue I'm not doing any um, inking on the edges or anything like that because I don't want any inks to get white laces or anything dirty. So this is um, quick and easy when it comes to that decorating style. So this is one eighth around smaller so that you have a one eighth white border. Just lay it there. Get all the air bubbles out. You can hear. Okay. Okay. Using a lot of glue, it's coming out so thin. I just ordered some more of that online. Okay, so one eighth away from there, and that looks good. I don't know why I keep getting so much glue on my fingers this time. Thank goodness I have the wipey right here. I don't want anything getting dirty. We could decorate that, and this is what we would do, the same thing. We would glue, glue, and glue, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to save time, but that's what you would do. You know, you could have changed it up however you wanted. Use your paper however you want. It's your project, okay? But <clears throat> we're done. We're done with this, so now we're going to work on the hinges, and I've already pre-done so much work, so it's going to go pretty fast. Um, okay, so now make the hinges. Okay, ready guys? So this is five and a half by 11, score right down the middle at five and a half. <coughs> this is, this would, you would use cardstock. Well, I mean for your template, just use copy paper. Okay, so let me show you what I did. I went one inch one inch in, drew a line, one inch from this end where the fold line is. See the fold line is going to go up and the open is going to go on the hinge. But there's more to it than that because if you only use cardstock it would be flimsy. So, so you make your template. One inch this way and one inch that way. Okay one inch and one inch. Then we also went one inch in and one inch in, okay? And made this template. So here is the template, okay? Where I cut it out, okay? And now here is it in cardstock, okay? <coughs> 
So here's one cut out. So let me show you. Now when I folded it over, you don't want to air bubble. So when I cut it out, I'm pushing all the air out. I'm pushing all the air out. Okay? I keep saying I'm okay. <laughs> and I'm if you have a paper clip or if you have a um, hair uh, barrette, something to hold it. So I'm going to cut it together, both pieces. Cut it together. I only have to cut this one because I've got prepped everything else. So just let's cut it together so we know what we're doing. And we cut straight down and follow that line. And I need to just cut that just a hair more. Okay. There we go. Come back over here. And that's the hardest part. You might be better at using a <clears throat> Zacto blade type thing. Um, one of these. Uh, but I've got the scissors. I'll just do, use the scissors. So I'm going to cut up, stop right at it, cut up, stop right at it. Oop, when I hear more of it, I'm going to glue it back. I'm going to cut at an angle and get on that line and then cut straight with my scissors. And as soon as I hit that mark, it should pull. So which way do I need to cut it more? In here or there. Yeah, let me pull it off. Okay, let's cut this little mark out straight. Okay, all right, so this is our hinge. This is, instead of using um, chipboard, this is 85 pound cardstock, I think. Yes, 85. Yeah, 80 pounds, not 85, 80. <clears throat> so this is what I did. I got the two of them together. And once you glue these together, it becomes like chipboard because with the glue in it and these two folded over, so it's like four pieces together, it worked out so nice. And because you're cutting a template on both sides, um, one side might not be a hair equal, so I put them together and make sure that they look the same because they're matching up. But if I flipped it around, you can see a difference where they don't match up. So let me match them around. Okay, so first let's put one to the side. Let's just get the one, and we're actually going to just glue this together. Okay, I wish I would quit saying okay. <laughs> My phone keeps ringing. My mom got out of the hospital last night at 6 o'clock at night. She's doing so much better. I want to thank everyone that um, sent prayers. And if you want to send prayers to my mom, D, um, please do so. I totally believe in that and um, would never turn that down. Uh, she had blood clots, or she does have blood clots in her lungs and in her legs. She went to the emergency room thinking it was kidneys, <clears throat> and it was blood clots, and they're giving her blood thinner. She stayed two days. They sent her home on blood thinner. So I am holding this up and pushing it down as I go. I don't want any air bubbles. So there's no air bubbles Okay, so this one's totally, totally glued. Totally glued, okay? The second one we need, because we need six of these, because we have three hinges. This one, we're going to keep this open, but we're going to glue the back to this. Okay, so let me show you. Let me show you. 
These are two, and this is the extra. This is what your hinge is going to be to glue to here. At this time, it says go through here, and if it doesn't meet up, go ahead and trim them so that all the edges meet up and it's nice and neat. So let me get let me get you through this. It's not hard. It's just takes a second longer. So on the one that you just glued as one piece now, we're going to put glue on here. You could use tape, but glue is better for this. It'll stay together longer. It makes it harder. It makes it thicker. It makes it like one piece, like an, almost like a chipboard. And it's all white. It matches your project. You don't have to wrap it and um, cover cover it with paper if you wanted. I mean, you could put designer paper on this, but I didn't want to. I wanted the lace to, to show off. Okay, so on the one that is not glued together, <coughs> on the fold side and on the fold side, we're going to match them together. Okay, the open inside and this open inside. And let's push that way to get all the air out. And I can see just a hair where it needs to be trimmed that um, the two papers didn't get cut together so it's a little 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 tiny off. Okay so there you go. There it is. That's your project. This is your hinge. Okay so to add this together all we have to do is put this on here. So I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to put tape. We're done. This is the last step. I'm going to put tape here and here. And I'm going to put tape just in the middle because I'm going to use glue too. Okay. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Let's take the tape off of both sides at the same time because if I don't, I will forget to take tape off of one side and the tape will be on there forever with the backing still on it. Okay. I'm going to put glue only on one side. This is the tricky part. Only on one side. Well, I can put glue on both. Just don't touch it. Make sure you get on the edge. But this, there's a, just a little tricky part because this is only three fourths high, and the hinge is an inch high. So you actually glue the hinge together. Okay, I was close as I can be, I think. Let me see. I don't think I can get any closer to show you. No. Okay. So this is the thick part, and this is the thin part. Let's put the thick part. Pull that off to the side. Let's put the thick part on the hinge and on and it should line up exactly. You see? See how it lines up? But see how we have uh, extra not touching the hinge? Okay, so let's press it on. Let's press it on. Let's press it on. Yeah, only put glue on the back side, only one at a time. Because you gotta press it on to hold it secure. Let's clean my fingers because I don't want anything to get dirty. Now <clears throat> that's pressed on. Now we have to glue the hinge and all the other stuff. So we see how there's extra right here. We got to put glue here, which it'll make sense when you do it. And we have to put glue all on half of this. Right to the edge. Right to the edge. 
You could use tape, but I think the glue really strengthens it and makes it thicker and heavier for you. If any of it squirts out, it means you got really right to the edge and you just clean it up. So, okay. Make sure I got it everywhere. Got to be fast because the glue will dry. Okay, now folding it over, you want to start at the top and do just like before and push it. Push it down as you go to get the air bubbles out. And then glue uh, <clears throat> the hinge. Okay, so there we go. We are done. Um, so I have one more already pre glued, ready to put in an attached. So I'm going to do one more for you. <coughs> <coughs> there you go. We're done. It's on there. How cute is that? So um, trim up your edges by making sure all four match. And if you forget, you could probably try to do it in the book. It might be hard, though. All four edges match. Okay. So this is three pieces together, and this is the extra. Let's add the tape on both sides and go ahead and pull the tape off so I don't forget because I've forgotten to take the backing off before and I'm like well I'm not unpeeling it now let's make sure that we got the air bubbles out and we did learn that we can only glue one side at a time because you touch it okay so let's glue I wish it wasn't all white Fold it over out of your way. Line it up. It should line up straight. Okay. And see, this time I can really push it down. Kind of stay away from that tape. But okay, let me show you. See how there's a little extra lip? Right here, that gets glued. That gets glued. This gets glued. All this surface gets glued. So let's glue that surface. I'm trying to hurry. The washer and dryer stop, so that means I'm taking too long. Because they usually take, what, 30, 40 minutes? Ooh, this is the longest video I've made in a long time. You can speed me up on two speed and only take half the time instead of 43 minutes to 21. Okay, we got the extra and now let's make sure we put glue on the hinge part of it. It becomes really thick and sturdy and substantial. You'll be happy with this project. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to fold it over slowly and we are going to hold it up. We're holding this up and we're making sure we're not getting any air. And then we're coming down to the hinge. And I see a little bit of pencil line that I can erase. So it's better to use a pencil line than the first time I used a pen and I had pen lines and I wasn't happy about that. Okay guys, all you have to do <coughs> is add your last hinge and you'll have a beautiful project. And don't forget, add your five and three fourths and five and three fourths papers to that. So it took one sheet of 12 by 12 of decorative paper plus the little piece extra um, was two and three-fourths by five and three-fourths. 
So it did take more than one 12 sheet. Okay, guys, so it is this project with the lace. It can hold right now. Um, I can add more lace here. I can add more lace here. And this one I just spread out to show you the difference. Look how wide that is. I can add two more laces, actually three more if I scrunch that together. This is 45 yards so far. So isn't that a sweet project? I love it. I hope you do too, guys. Thank you for watching. All my links are down below. Please hit that subscribe and that bell because I never know when I'm going to make a video. So if you hit the bell, then you know it when I know it because I'm so busy with life. But it gives me such pleasure to make these videos for you. Um, all my links are down below. I have a Facebook blog, Victorian Dreams by Lee. I have a Glue Gun Chronicles group, and it's a loving sharing group, and Pinterest, and um, yeah. And if you live in Texas, I also have a Texas group called Lone Star Crafters, if you want to be in that. And um, I think that's in there. If not, I need to add it, because there's like 600 people in that. So, and that can always grow because Texas is big and everything in Texas is bigger. So let's grow that too. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a blessed day.